Are you ready to settle down on Mars? We will eventually run out of places to dwell on Earth. Anything could happen at any moment. One example is the extinction of the dinosaurs. As NASA strives to realize its long-term objective of creating a human settlement on Mars, SpaceX is developing its strategies to assist NASA in realizing this vision. Creating a metropolis on Mars has long been the CEO of SpaceX's aim. Millions of people would call it home, it would be self-sufficient, and it would change humanity into a multiverse species. This is just as crazy as it seems. They intend to replicate Earth's whole industrial infrastructure in order to construct, produce, or process anything they want independent of Earth. These plans for Mars are quite ambitious. What is the plan for SpaceX and NASA to create an independent Mars base? What inspired this crazy multi-planet system design? Join us as we explore how NASA and SpaceX plan to establish a colony on Mars and why this is significant for the survival of life itself. Elon Musk intends to develop a fully-fledged city on the planet Mars. This would be a metropolis accessible to everyone, not only scholars and scientists. Elon Musk is fundamentally motivated by the desire to see mankind evolve into a multi-planetary species, which he sees as necessary for our continued existence. He has enumerated the justifications for humankind's desire to spread beyond the cosmos over the years. The idea that a catastrophic event on Earth might end human civilization is a recurring subject in his lists. Elon Musk claims that even though Earth is 4.5 billion years old, life is not yet multi-planetary and it's highly unlikely that it will be for much longer. A surprise meteor strike has the potential to wipe out humanity in addition to the worst-case scenario of climate change. He stated that humanity is currently faced with two fundamental paths. One is that after we live on Earth indefinitely, there will inevitably be an extinction event. He muses that if something goes wrong with the planet Earth, that's it. The game's over. The other option is to evolve into a species capable of inhabiting multiple planets and a spacefaring society. Setting up shop on a new planet such as Mars might ensure humanity's survival. Elon Musk notes that one of the greatest options for assembling humanity's Battlestar Galactica starter kit is Mars. It's nearby and contains a large amount of water that's submerged in ice. The atmosphere contains essential elements for agricultural fertilizers, such as nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Furthermore, gravity is only 37% of Earth's, thus you could lift absolutely anything and dunk like Michael from Space Jam. Red is also a color that's always in style, right? In addition, the fact that humans are life's guardians, the creatures that we love cannot build spaceships but we can, and we can bring them with us, Elon Musk said, is another justification for human expansion. Elon Musk also mentioned that humans had not been into space since the lunar landings, which is another motivation to return. Elon Musk is not the first person to advocate for human colonization of another planet. In 2017, renowned scientist Stephen Hawking declared that human survival would depend on human expansion beyond Earth in less than a century. So, how will SpaceX and NASA construct a metropolis on Mars? The SpaceX Starship is pivotal to the scheme. As of right now, SpaceX is working in Texas on a fully reusable rocket that will allow them to transport people and goods to Mars. The spacecraft can carry 100 passengers or more into orbit at once. Unlike the Falcon 9, which uses rocket propellant, this spacecraft can fly to Mars, refuel using resources discovered on the planet, and then return to Earth using liquid oxygen and methane as its fuel. Space exploration could go much further if the astronauts set up a system of recharging stations that could go to different planets. According to Neil deGrasse Tyson's statement, a whole category of war has the potential of evaporating entirely due to space travel. The reason is that people might explore further afield and extract resources from even greater distances. If you run out of resources in space, you can simply travel to another asteroid and collect them there. However, visiting and settling on Mars won't be simple. In November 2018, Elon Musk compared the advertisements for Mars travel to those for Sir Ernest Shackleton's Antarctic expedition. Men wanted for a hazardous journey, small wages, bitter cold, long months of complete darkness, constant danger, and safe return doubtful, honor and recognition in case of success. Despite the fact that the advertisements are most likely fake, previous Mars missions have shown that Elon Musk might be right about the perils of the planet. 
A dust storm affected the United Arab Emirates hosted Hope mission to Mars in December 2021. It swiftly traveled hundreds of miles across, crossing the crater that was home to NASA's Ingenuity helicopter and Perseverance rover. The tempest persisted on January 14th. The incidents demonstrated how unexpectedly harsh the weather may be on Mars, particularly when compared to earthly conditions. A space station could go dark if the solar panels aren't properly protected from dust storms, which reduces their efficiency. The astronauts will encounter more than just dust as a challenge. NASA said in April 2022 that the Curiosity rover had to abandon its current expedition route because of ventifacts, which are jagged rocks that could cause harm to the rover's wheels. Mount Sharp is the name of the mountain Curiosity was attempting to climb, which is perhaps fairly fitting. Before deploying any personnel on its initial Mars missions, SpaceX will land at least two unmanned cargo ships on the planet. Those supply missions would provide essentials like power generators and life support equipment that the initial Mars settlers would require for camp setup. The primary objective of the initial unmanned Mars missions is to verify the existence of natural resources that may serve as fuel for upcoming two-way trips to the Red Planet. In order to refuel starships on Mars and allow the rockets to return to Earth, SpaceX plans to use carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere and water ice from the planet's surface. In order to start assembling a propellant manufacturing plant, SpaceX will launch two crewed missions in addition to two more cargo-only flights following those initial two cargo missions. The rocket's engines will run on liquid methane and liquid oxygen, which are produced at that plant from water and carbon dioxide. Consequently, SpaceX will not be constructing a whole Mars base by itself. Rather, it will establish a transit system for people and goods going to Mars. Elon Musk has outlined his plans to develop a million-person colony on Mars, but in order to make that happen, SpaceX will need to collaborate with NASA, as well as the agency's foreign partners and other commercial space enterprises. In addition to proposing orbital outposts modeled after NASA's Lunar Gateway, a number of firms have already started creating designs for Mars homes. These might lower the amount of fuel required for return flights to Earth and act as a waypoint for Starship. Elon Musk speculated on Twitter, now known as X, in March 2022 that 2029 might be a more plausible year for humanity to see the first humans on Mars. But it's also plausible that he was alluding to the 1969 moon landing, which would put a good 60 years between the two achievements. The closest approach between Mars and Earth occurs around once every 26 months. Presently, the gap between them is about 33.9 million miles. The price of a round-trip ticket, according to Elon Musk, may start at roughly $500,000 and reduce to $100,000 in the future. In 2016, Elon Musk aimed to get ticket prices to about equal the median cost of a house in the US. It implies that individuals could sell their homes and relocate to Mars. A personal goal is another possibility. The loan would be repaid by the visitors working to alleviate the city's labor deficit. This concept is reminiscent in some ways of the American company towns of the 19th century, where workers resided in a city that was owned by their employer. Paying off the loan for your travel is essential, yet Mars may not offer many local job options, especially in the early days. Per the terms and conditions of the Starlink internet service that were published in October 2020, this city would have complete autonomy in governing itself. This seems to go against the spirit of the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, which holds the country that launched the rocket accountable for any actions taken in orbit afterward. In 2019, Elon Musk estimated that a self-sustaining Martian city would require approximately 1 million tons of cargo. A Mars colony would cost about $100 billion if the forthcoming Starship could transport cargo to the Red Planet at a rate of $100,000 per tonne. According to Elon Musk, the most extreme estimate puts the cost at approximately $10 trillion. Nevertheless, SpaceX might expand beyond a single city. Speaking at the 21st Annual International Mars Society Convention in August 2022, SpaceX principal Mars development engineer Paul Wooster stated that the company has the capability to construct numerous communities. The plan is to spread out, beginning with an outpost and eventually expanding into a larger base. Not like those in Antarctica, but more like a hamlet or town, and eventually into a city, and eventually maybe even several cities on Mars. If we begin in five years and take 10 orbital synchronizations, Elon Musk predicted in March 2019, we can build a self-sustaining settlement on Mars by 2050. 
Constructing the metropolis would need, at the very least, 22 years if synchronizations occurred every 26 months. Elon Musk has given himself till 2050 to build a self-sufficient Mars city housing a million people. Similar to how early explorers' pursuit of fame, riches and spices pushed advancements in ship technology and global industry, the impetus from a successful human landing on Mars will propel future innovations. In the end, Elon Musk thinks that this kind of project would take Mars out of science fiction and turn it from a dangerous and challenging planet to one that people might genuinely like living on. Would you like to live on Mars? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and put on notifications for more videos. See you soon.